Good morning. It's what, Monday? Yep. Alright, so, um... Monday morning. So, Val's been having issues with uh, shortness of breath, so we had called... The we didn't call. They called me to check on me this morning. Really? Yeah. I was on the phone trying to talk to... Trying... So they called you because, is this a post-surgery thing? I was on the phone this morning trying to get through to my psychiatrist because I need to make an appointment with him because um, my appointment's not until Oct or November 18th and I feel like my psych meds are all a little too, why are you stopping? I'm not, I'm getting in. Oh. Ch chillax. Okay. I feel like my psych meds and stuff are all a little off now. If you can't tell. Whether whether it be that I'm not getting enough food <laughs> um, or that I've lost weight, that they are too strong now. So I was making an appointment with them and I got a phone call while I was on hold with them waiting for them to answer the phone so I switched over and answered the phone and it was um, the bariatric department from Kaiser checking in on me from my surgery asking me how I was feeling and I'm out of breath now so I'll let Kevin tell the rest well she told him that she's been out of breath and uh, it could be just because she's tired but she had a lot of issues with it yesterday and I had to make her sit down, which is tough because her OCD is kind of uh, bad right now. And uh, so the, um, the doctor who was on the phone said, go to urgent care just, just to make sure it's not a blood clot. So that's what we're doing right now. I hope it doesn't take the whole day, but you know, we want to be sa better safe than sorry. I don't think it is. Uh, we got a lot to do today as usual. We have to put together a care package for uh, Megan, and we gotta get that off in the mail today. It's gonna be a big one. Hope it doesn't break the bank. And we've got Halloween, we've got Halloween decorating. decorating to do a lot of it. I started doing some right away this morning when I got up. I can't say when I woke up because I haven't been sleeping. That's another issue, is I've only been sleeping maybe like an hour, if that, and uh, that's not healthy when you just have surgery, and I hate the curves. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, first stop, <clears throat> urgent care, we'll keep you guys updated. Bye! Okay, so after being at urgent care for how long? two hours for being after being at urgent care for two hours um, we went for labs which is going to take another 45 minutes to an hour um, they told us to go and get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything yet today and I feel extremely extremely weak right now and shaky um, they are checking for blood clots and um, what else are they doing? Uh, it's just for anemia and um, uh, just in case you have any kind of infections or something that's and, causing it. And dehydration. Dehydration, which I don't think you have, but I've checked you for dehydration a couple of times. So, so they're, they're running some tests and everything. Um, we have to go back to the hospital um, in about a 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, but we're going to go grab something to eat. <sighs> get nothing done that was supposed to get done today. Yay! Need to decorate. Need to decorate. Need to go to Home Depot and need to go to a Halloween store because there's stuff I need to pick up to decorate. I haven't eaten either. Hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. Calling me a hippo? <laughs> El Pollo Loco's over there. No, I'm not calling him a hippo. <laughs> just called me a hippo. <laughs> just singing the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very unhappy. Sweetie. 
We've been here all day. Yeah. This is why I hate urgent cares. Haven't gotten a thing done that we need to get done. Nothing. And there's so much I need to do. And here I sit. So most of my tests came back fine, except for the one that shows that there's some sort of blood clot somewhere. Could be a false positive, they're not sure. But to play it safe now, I have to have a CT scan done on my chest. So just when you think it's your turn to leave, they send you for more tests. I'm so frustrated, angry, I just want to get out of here. Okay, so here it is, 518. We are finally leaving Kaiser. Not very happy. Not very happy. I mean, yes, I know I had to do this because the blood work showed that there was a possible blood clot in my lungs, um, which could be life-threatening. So I had to have a CAT scan done of my lungs to, to rule that out. When we got here at 11.30 this morning, no one here seemed very concerned that this could be a life-threatening situation. So everybody kind of just was like, okay, 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 and took their dear sweet time doing everything. It is 5.20 and we're just getting out of here. We've been here all day. Now, the doctor that called me this morning was concerned and wanted me to come here. To me, that's something, you know, you better get checked out because that's a possible life-threatening situation. Here they acted like it was no big deal. And it, it took them all day long to do these tests and it cost us what? $190. $190. And it was a false positive. So I have no blood clot. I'm just having shortness of breath. So basically what he said was he doesn't know why you have shortness of breath and they're not going to do anything beyond what they did. So we didn't get anything resolved. She had called, it, she, you know, told the doctor that she's having difficulty breathing. And um, so nothing got done. Nothing got done, wasted an entire day, cost us $190, and I'm still having shortness of breath. What the hell? I'm not happy. Bye. Not happy. Okay, so it's not a good idea to go all day long with nothing to eat and then come home and eat because now I am in pain because I ate too much and I ate too fast and I hurt and I'm tired and I'm grumpy and I'm... That was a long sentence. <laughs> ah! So how are you? What do you really feel though? What do I really feel? Yeah. I feel like I wish I could wiggle my nose and all my decorations would be done. <laughs> you need to go back in the crawl space. We are missing stuff. Okay, dear. And it's really stre- Hi, Mojo. And it's really stressing me out that we are missing stuff. Okay. And... I know you want to wait until tomorrow, but it's stressing me out. Yeah, you, yeah. Tell, you tell her, you Mojo. You tell him. He said, I'm tired. He's saying, go get it now. Maybe mom can sleep. <laughs> I, I haven't slept that. in I don't know how many nights. Well, sorry. Oh, what were those daggers for? Because I think I'm going to make you stay awake with me. I don't think so. Until I can sleep, I don't think you should sleep. Well, then I'm not going to get anything done. I have not been able to sleep. I'm sorry. 
I don't know what to say. Well, I could do some decorating, but I'm missing stuff, and I, it bothers me. Oh, okay. And I can't decorate unless I have everything. <laughs> don't. Why do you have to laugh at me? <laughs> Why? You're just missing one item. I'm missing one item plus creepy cloth. <laughs> we just A lot of creepy cloth. A lot of creepy cloth. How do you know we have creepy cloth still? We had enough creepy cloth to put all around the kitchen last year. And to hang on the doors in the front room. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And it's in none of those boxes in the front room. Not a one. None. Zero. Sorry. Zip. Not a one. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> I want to make my cat attack you. Okay. Mojo, go attack daddy. Mojo. Mojo, stop staring at Boomer and go attack daddy. Maybe later. She doesn't feel up to it right now. Okay. I'm going to make Boomer, Bootsy, keep you up all night. Boomer does that already. No, Bootsy. Bootsy does it already. I'm gonna make Bootsy keep Bootsy it tickles me with her whiskers on purpose. I have to hide all my body parts or she'll tickle me. Do you and then remember? she then she'll hack <laughs> and and then she stinks the place up and Do you remember what, like one of the first times you you slept over? Yeah. And she slept in between us mm -hmm. and she was pushing me. Yeah, bed. she was trying to push me out of the bed. <laughs> She did that for a, almost a full year. <laughs> she would just put her back against you and then push against me. <laughs> it's my baby. <laughs> Are we done? Did you get my box out of the attic yet? Yes, it's in the living room. Go get it. Are you sure? Of course. I, you didn't get up. <laughs> so why did you ask? You asked me if we're done. We're not done until you get my box out of the attic. I I got knee pads. You can you can go into the crawl space yourself. Like you're really gonna let me go up there and into the crawl space? <laughs> I try every year and every year. No, I'll do it. Go get my box. Bye. So everybody, I'm a lot better now. I had uh, four fingers helping me do a little bit of decorating, and I I Are those feel, mine. Yeah, okay. I borrowed them. I hope you don't mind. Mm. <laughs> I got a little bit of decorating done. If you uh, want to see a little bit of what I did, this is witch's corner. The witch's corner. Yep, yep, yep. We got some. Eye of Newt. Oh, cool pictures up there. Poor Newt. Eye of Newt. Rat tails. Dead flies. Yeah, we got a lot of those around here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I feel a little bit better. I got some decorating done and uh, I feel better now. So I hope you enjoyed <laughs> my video of my emotional roller coaster ride today <laughs> if you did please give us a great big thumbs up and if you haven't already please press that little red subscribe button down below and join the neighborhood community because we do have an awesome community even though I was you know a basket case half of the day <laughs> what else is new hey and share this video with your family and friends because this is just a little taste of what's to come. Oh, yes. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.